What up people, this is Dragon Custom doing my third review on the Mortal Kombat X figures. This time is the Ninja Spester Hanzo Hasashi Scorpion figure. First we are going to talk about the accessories and then about the figure itself. He comes with some open palm hands to do some poses right here. Really nice. Sculpted and detailed. He comes with two of his ninjato swords we really, which really looks really really nice I'm sorry if I say really really <laughs> too many times um, they have really nice detail on the paint on the blade, the blade looks way too cool. Finally, real Ninjato swords on a Mortal Kombat figure seen the, the G.I. Joe ones back in the 90s. Lastly, he comes with two of his Kunai spears with chains. One for each of his hands. They come with a peg hole that's because you take one of his hands, alternate hands and you push it carefully I guess this one is from the other side but well the idea is that you attach it on the arm and like he's throwing his spear now for the figure again they use the renders of the Netherrealm Studios, so you will see any details on his clothing. It looks really nice. Leather looks like leather, uh, fab like fabric, jabity jabity. You have uh, heard that too many times already. But here comes my first. Oh, I didn't attach this one well. Okay, now it's better. There is one problem with it. If you remove this plastic shell that comes in the packaging, you have a removable mask to show his Hanzo Hasashi face. Sorry, some allergies. The problem here is that since they used the very first render from the Netherrealm Studios, first off, Hanzo doesn't have any beard. And looks kind of weird like this and second the mask it is really nice sculpted and painted but it doesn't stay attached to his face which is really a pain for collectors because the thing keeps falling off what I do is push by the sides and reattach it so it doesn't fall off but it will eventually expand and fall off again for the paintwork really play, really clean paintwork right here it has some dry brush or washes on his yellow because to make it look more grittier more realistic has some dry brushing on the pants and the boots looks really nice going now for the articulation Scorpion has the best head articulation of them all and that's because the ball peg is not on the head it's on the neck so he can lean side to side really nice look down really much and look up the tallest this part is really soft you can remove it but you will see a uh, <laughs> bold hands or has action figure instead of having a scorpion he can look all the way up really really nice arms ball jointed looks uh, goes all this way out rotate 360 degrees elbow bend and 90 degrees really nice another bend all the hands rotate in and out as you can see I have this one loose so I can attach another one fast 
um, the torso is another ball joint so he can lean, move side to side, lean side to side, to side uh, go down only this much unfortunately and this much backward he looks he bent more back than forward but well at least he's there uh, as if you haven't noticed he have a bolt right here with a hook that's because the prototype uh, have the inferno scorpion variation skull so he can hook it right here I hope one of the variants uh, exclusive that are going to make for San Diego Comic Con and BBTS will come with that um, attachment so he will be more complete uh, continuing to with the articulation ball jointed again on the legs back forward uh, nice swivel then he bend this much or you can bend more depending on the way you rotate uh, on the ankle is really nice you can move this much back this much forward and the pivot is really really big on this figure and the pivot is really big on this figure nice action figure but that that another gripe I have about him uh, I will explain it on the comparison now here for the comparison here are the single carded Charlie Monk Scorpion Hot Topic exclusive Scorpion Mask Scorpion of course Deception Scorpion and the really crappy MK9 Scorpion which I don't really like uh, and I don't even use it as an army builder because it is a really crappy inaccurate action figure uh, representation of the ninja specter but here is my other gripe about this scorpion figure let's move all this aside um, turn this in on the back um, the NK91 if you have noti uh, noticed the NK9 scorpion have an attachment for his swords which I don't have it, uh, which I don't have it at hand now but this one doesn't have any so you can't place swords on scorpion to make him look more like a badass or in his ninjutsu variation you don't have that uh, on the NK9 scorpion one he have a peg and so you could use attach your swords and you are ready to go with, with that figure and this is my my only gripe about this Scorpion but aside from that uh, this is far superior don't buy this one don't buy this one you can buy the, the Charlie Monks it looks, looks really nice but don't expect too much articulation it is a 2005 figure uh, my goal will be this Scorpion is the ultimate Scorpion you will buy on the 6 inch scale figure it is really cool, really badass.